Ready. Okay, bet. 93.9 WKYS. Uh, the fam in the mornings with Quick and Little Mo Deja Perez. And I've got Ro James. Ro Welcome James. to the DMV. Thank you. Thank so you. we just started playing your single, Permission. Mm -hmm. Dope. I'm sure you've heard that you sound a little princish. Yeah, I've heard you've that. You've gotten that reference I've before? Heard that. Mm -hmm. All right, so I read your story and I know that you kind of bounced around and that like Prince was one of your kind of inspirations. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But um, what, what was the moment where you were like, this is my destiny because I know you came from a gospel background. Mm -hmm. How did you know? Like, I'm How saying, I'm saying the nasty stuff too. Uh, <laughs> um, I think that growing up, I always listened to the nasty stuff anyway, mm -hmm. and I also felt the void. We didn't, I didn't never feel that feeling. You know what I mean? Okay. From anybody. Mm -hmm. So I guess I adapted to that, but that's just one part. But uh, you know, I had been like running around New York City and mm -hmm. partying, and and I knew that I could sing. You know what I mean? But okay. I knew that also that. I wasn't ready to tell people I'm an artist because it's oversaturated. You know, everyone's an so. artist. So mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna be low key, develop on my own party. So I mean, I've hung out with all of the artists that are now out now. And it was one time someone said, uh, you know, you know, Ronnie, you the so like the socialite. And I was like, oh, nah, nah, nah. That's not what I'm about. You know, I'm not out here to party. Mm -hmm. And then I had, um, like helped other artists and like, you know, been around and kind of like, I don't want to even say gave them style, but I want to say like, you know, show them different ways to express themselves through style and just being yourself. I'll say mm -hmm. it like that. Okay. And I just seen when I started to see like friends take off, it was like, you know, I actually have a talent and I'm actually dope too. So I need to get on my music before I can run around telling people. I'm an artist, so that was my moment when I started to see everybody take off, and I knew I could do it too. Okay, so quick question, because yeah. you bring up a good point. Mm -hmm. You talk about not being ready to be an artist, like yeah. that's an important thing. A lot of people come out here, they're like, I can sing, I can rap, I can this, yeah. but in this day and age and the way the music culture is, there's really no artist development like, mm -hmm. like it used to be. Mm -hmm. So how did you go about developing yourself as an artist? Well, for me, when I grew up, my dad would only list, make me listen to like Stevie Wonder, Donny Hathaway, Otis Redding, like the good old, stuff. yeah, the mm -hmm. good stuff. And like, I also, the bad, like the bad, not the bad stuff, but the, 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 the like stuff mm -hmm. was like the Jodeci's <laughs> and those are the things that is H Towns, mm -hmm. you know, and R. Kelly, you know, you, he was listening to that too. So, Nasty. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, <laughs> you know, and I, that void, it wasn't there mm -hmm. it, 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 for me. I knew that. That's what I wanted to bring and put out to the world. Okay. So, question, because you have a song that I don't know if it's supposed to be an acronym. I know that the acronyms mean All Day I Dream About Sex. Mm -hmm. But is that what you meant it to be? Yeah. Okay. Where did that come from? All Day I Dream About Sex? Sir. Okay. So, the song basically <laughs> came from, you know, a girl that I was talking to I had met, and she inspired that feeling. But it was like, I, we were trying to not jump right into sex so it was like when you're not trying to think about sex you learn the qualities that make you more attracted to someone okay you know what i mean so it was like dang i keep thinking about sex but at the same time if you notice in the lyrics it's more like expressing how i actually feel so okay. that we can fall into this moment you know what i mean versus and be it right. being exactly so okay so mm -hmm. i know that you grew up you kind of bounced around because you were a military brat yeah but the way that it's, I guess, kind of portrayed is that you were always kind of trying to figure out who you were while you were bouncing around to these different places. Mm -hmm. Once you got to New York, did you feel like that's where you found your, your you? Um, I will say that moving and bouncing around, I mean, it's, it, being in the military, I mean, being a military brat, you, you move to different places every couple of years. So mm -hmm. every place you take the last place with you, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you're still learning as, you know, family and wherever you go, whenever. And a teenager we, and all yeah, that stuff like too. Yeah, between like living in California to Oklahoma, I would go and be and stay in New York for a couple of months and then we would go. Oh. You know what I mean? So I would go to New York and then I would move <laughs> to like Oklahoma. So it's Which just is crazy. a culture shock. And it's like these people run around with co uh, cowboy boots and right. like on horses. flannels and white, <laughs> you know, boot cut jeans and stuff. It's just different. You right. Know? And you you kind of either adapt to the, to the environment or you are teased, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Be, and But as a kid, you don't know, like, stand to your individuality, be mm -hmm. who you are, and that's what my mom would instill in us. So in between, you know, I would go to different places and I would start to 
develop my own style and I wouldn't change it. Like That's I dope. would go to like Oklahoma, but I would incorporate a cowboy boot, but I would still do my own thing. That's dope. You know what I mean? So as I grew up, I learned how to put that together as an adult and things that I had saw that may have inspired me, like I'm Panamanian. So okay. I got a gold tooth, right? uh-huh. for instance. <laughs> my tooth chipped doing some crazy stuff mm-hmm. and I had always wanted a gold tooth when I was a kid because my big cousin Turo had one <laughs> and he had all the jewelry and all the stuff and I was like when I get older I'm definitely going to do that you know so I took that with me and I didn't realize that it was a part of my my future and development and becoming actually the, those little things you bring with you to where you become you, you, so you, evolve you know what I mean? into you, to you. Mm-hmm. so when <laughs> my, my tooth chip <laughs> out the first thing I thought was oh I'm going to get it's my time. I'm going to... <laughs> so you know what I mean. So my, my mom hated it because she's like, people are not people are gonna people don't look at you as the culture. They look at you as you have a gold tooth, so you out here being hood. And I'm like, mm. takes me gives me opportunities like this to be in an interview and share that love. It's not about a hood or a trend or anything like that. Mm. It's something that I grew up with and wanted. It's really to... deeper than yeah, that. Yeah. So I mean, right now it's popular, but at the same time for me, it's like. It's a little more authentic than that for me. Yeah, you know that's I mean? really dope. Yeah, so. Okay. Now, you are 100% Panamanian or half Panamanian, yeah. half black? Nah, half Panamanian, okay, do you speak Spanish? A little bit. Not really. Like poquito, nah, poquito? Po- un, muy poquito. <laughs> 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 Which parent is what? <laughs> my mom. My oh, she didn't speak it? She does, but she didn't speak it to us. Okay. And because she even rebelled against it when she was younger. She didn't really? Know, yeah. So, we didn't learn it. Gotcha. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. All right, so tell me about the EP. Tell me about the project. Which one? The, the old most one or the new? recent. Well, I haven't put out the EP. I put out a single, but right. I have a, my last EP was called Coke Jack and Cadillacs, and that was basically just about Coke represented my first girlfriend. Right, the Jack was you. And the Cadillac was the journey. See, I, see, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I do a little, okay, you know, I'm a little okay, bit of a professional, okay, okay. you know. I like that. Okay. Okay, yeah. All right, so how far do you feel like you've grown from, because obviously you're working on the next project, right. right? So how far do you feel you've come from Coke, Jack, and Cadillac to this new one that's going to come out? Uh, it's so far, because I, I think that when I did Coke, Jack, and Cadillacs, I kind of, box my mind into that frame of listening to like uh the Jody C's and the H Downs and those okay. are the things that really inspired the sounds that inspired me. So when you listen to that it has that feeling. Okay. Of like when I was nineteen years old, this is what I was listening to, this is the feeling, but this is my story with that feeling. Oh, you know what I mean? Okay. So now in Kojak, I mean moving on into El Dorado, which is an extension of the, the Cadillac mm-hmm. car, which was my first car. Okay. Uh it's about the journey and the growth of a man becoming who I am and actually on my journey to uh, to doing this, doing what I want to do, my my city of gold, which was always New York. Like right. growing up, I was like, when I get done with this, <laughs> I'm moving back to New York. You know what I mean? And so the journey between leaving Indiana and discovering my sound and um, changing, experimenting with sound. So the album is more like experimenting with sound this shows hmm. growth it's playing with my voice and learning showing like all of those different places that I told you Indiana Oklahoma the country the rock the soul the hip-hop you know the R&B all of it that's that's what the album is this time around but there's so many more elements yeah yeah, yeah. so I just want to bring something simple and that's dope let people get to know me first okay so in this world <clears throat> where things are so like noisy you know and it's kind of like superficial and just not really focused on yeah the true essence of a person anymore right how do you stay centered and grounded in this industry uh basically just staying true to myself and and finding people who i believe have that same energy about them who are about positivity and growth and, and trying to be and not trying to be superficial or out there or just trying to appear to be something just for the sake of numbers. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's just about <clears throat> staying authentic for me. And I think that authenticity lasts forever. Absolutely, I agree. You know? And so if you just take your time and just do it right, you start to see like the people who wrestled did all the crazy shit, mm-hmm. and this, they kind of like- Fall off. Fall off and you still are like, Yo, I'm still here, I see you. I'm like still pacing rocking. myself. Yeah, I see you. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna leave you a drop right here, a little gem, yeah, but I'm still, you know what I mean? So. Just remaining true to me and knowing that it's about individuality, what I learned growing up, mm-hmm. and uh, just it's taught me how to identify people, and also my journey being around different people has taught me how to feel people out. Like, yeah, I know you're not real. I see right. what you're doing. I rock with you. I don't rock with you. I, I got exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you just feel energy. So Dope. that's how I stay true and grounded in this. 
Okay. Yeah. So I know you were supposed to be at the Howard Theater, but you're going to be coming back mm -hmm. um, with the dream. And that's February 26th. 26th or 28th? 26th, yep. Okay, yeah. All right, so um, for people just kind of tuning in, mm -hmm. I don't know how you feel about being put on the spot, but I'm going to do it. What? So uh, why don't you give them a little sample of permission? <laughs> just a little taste, a little I something. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask. With your permission, yeah. I just want to spend a little time with you. Ooh. With your permission, there's a whole lot of my fucking love in this way guys do. <laughs> I owe you. You don't get some love. <laughs> and to him. All right. So um, how can people find you on social media? You can find me on Ro James X I X everything. And uh, it's R O James, right? R O J A M E S X I X. Now where it's real quick, tell everyone where Ro came from, because that's not like I mean it's your name, but it's kinda not your name. Well Ro came from Ro is short for Ronnie. Okay. And the reason I went with Ro is because, you know, there's somebody named Ronnie James out there. Okay. And so all my friends already called me Ro, so it just worked out. It just but fit. It just was like, all right, perfect. Bet. Okay, so do you have a date on the EP? Uh, Well, the album we're putting The out. album, I'm sorry. The actual sorry. album uh -huh. is called Eldorado, and it comes out uh, late April, early May. Okay, so we'll have you yeah. back again. Sound like a plan? I'm here. Bet. All right, it's 93.9 WKYS. Thank 93. you. 93.9. <laughs>